guys welcome back so we had two sessions of two pointers till now in the first session we discussed the introduction of two pointer like uh, why do we use two pointers and uh, what are the concepts related to two pointers in the other session we discussed about how do we identify whether a problem is a two pointer problem or not right we add we discussed certain uh, traits of a question which can help us identify whether the particular problem can be solved via two pointers right now in this video we are going to discuss the types of problem which are actually solvable via two pointers right so there are certain types of problem the standard pro ones which you are going to discuss today which will help us identify whether the problem can be solved uh, via two pointer technique or not right so before we move on to the types of problem uh, i i told you in the very first session that two pointers are generally applicable only for linear data structures right so linear data structures and what different kind of linear data structure do we have uh when we discuss with respect to two pointer we take into account only three kind of data linear data structure which are mainly arrays linked list and strings right there are other kind of linear data structures as well but uh, mostly the question lies between these three buckets right so let us see of what different kind of problem we can actually solve via two pointer here right so yeah let me jump out to the other page so we will have two pointer technique here and we will have two three different kind of uh, data structure which we plan to use first one is the array the other one is basically your link list and the third one is going to be your strings right now in array there are multiple kind of problems uh, which involves like one of the most commonly used pattern which we see in array is basically let me just change the pan yeah so in array we see multiple kind of patterns the one of the one of the important use cases of two pointer in arrays is our respect to constraint based problems constraint bins as in uh, like if if i are given a question ki find out two different values whose sum of two sum value x if you guys remember we discussed this problem in the last session or let's suppose there are three values whose sum of two are value x okay so these kind of questions generally lies in constraint based problems wherein we have to use more than two or more like indexes in order to find the answer right the other kind of pattern which we see in arrays are generally around frequency analysis so frequency analysis like uh, let's suppose if the frequency of multiple values are given to us you will find a lot of these kind of problems okay if the frequency is given to us then we need to do some analysis right on top of it uh, very simple question could be let's suppose uh, if these are buckets of water right every particular uh, frequency here is a bucket of water then how much water we can store here maximum right so this kind of problem will come under frequency analysis we will see these problems uh, later on in further sessions the third kind of pattern or the third kind of problem uh, group which we encounter in arrays is basically application of sorted or sequence arrays Or basically some kind of sequence which is given to us in the question right so we saw one problem around it if to sorted error is given to us mostly we use index based technique wherein we start from the beginning and towards the end and try to get the answer uh, of through the logic which is given in the question right now in strings also there are two different kind of techniques which we use first one is uh, if in the string like two different kind of question which you see first one is a text and pattern kind of question right so if the text is given we need to if text and pattern both are given we need to find out the pattern within the text right so there are multiple very standard techniques or very standard algorithms like kmp uh, rabin carp etc which we are going to use like which we are going to implement through two pointers so this we are not going to discuss right now but probably while when we discuss strings we will discuss this pattern 
the other kind of problems which we see are around frequency analysis again here the frequency analysis is a little different how it is different let's suppose we are given a string so this the question is around like give me the frequency of each of the characters or give me the top five character which are having the highest frequency right so these kind of questions could also be solved by a two pointer technique now in linked list there are very specific problem statements in linked list which can be solved by two pointer the very first problem statement let me go this side the very first problem statement which you need to see in linked list is basically around cycle detection okay so this is a very common problem cycle detection wherein we have to detect cycling and linked list but there are some extended applications of this problem as well wherein we need to find out the meeting point of the circle right meeting point of the cycle so these are some problems which you are going to solve later on and the other kind of problem which come under linked list is basically uh, around removing the nth element or it could be rotate a certain portion of a linked list right so these are also add up some of the add up problems which you are going to see in linked list removing some nth element how do we remove an nth element first of all identification of nth element is also very important or the question could be remove the nth element from the end how do you do it just think about it we'll do it later on uh, the other kind of problem could be rotate a certain portion of linked list so they are asking us okay start uh, like rotate a linked list which is actually around five distance from the beginning and six distance from the end now how do we solve this problem it, it can also be solved by a linked list. The more, uh, like, sorry, by a two pointer. Uh, the more important th thing here in linked list problems is identification of the particular node, right? How do we identify that node from where we have to begin? And that's where two pointer come into picture, right? So, yeah, these are some of the kind of problems, the standard ones, I would say, uh, which are given which are actually categorized under two pointer. We are going to use them a lot. Uh, so yeah, but there are some other problems as well apart from these ones uh, problem with a single problem statement like uh, I have included here the, the pro kind of problem which will have multiple problem statements which can be tweaked and further reconstructed into a particular other problem but there are multiple other problems as well so we will solve those problem in the upcoming sessions when we discuss about the patterns okay so in the next video we are going to discuss the different kind of patterns uh, of questions which we can encounter in two pointers thank you